Well, here in the volunteer state, lawmakers will head back to work tomorrow, and that is when the 110th uh, Tennessee General Assembly will resume here in Nashville. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is at Legislative Plaza with a preview. Emily, the theme of this particular session may actually be change, right? That's right, starting with the location. Now, lawmakers will still meet at the Capitol, but all of the offices and committee rooms that used to be here at Legislative Plaza have been moved to the Cordell Hall building. And there will also be some new faces in the Senate. But one thing stays the same, there will be lots of hot topics to discuss, ranging from drugs to education. In less than 24 hours, the now quiet Tennessee State Capitol will be filled with a fury of activity. New Channel 5 political analyst Pat Nolan says one issue that may end up in the spotlight is already getting attention in Nashville, regulations of short-term rental properties like Airbnb. That could be an issue, but a lot of it depends on first what Metro does and then secondly, kind of how they draft it and how much interest there is in it in terms of lawmakers statewide. Also on the table is the ongoing opioid epidemic. Last year, a legislative task force made several recommendations, including adding more TBI agents, creating a commission to fight drug abuse, and limiting the number of controlled drugs prescribed in emergency rooms. Nolan believes discussion on how to prevent overdoses may lead to another hot topic. I think uh, one thing that may become a part of that debate is also what to do about medical marijuana. Increasingly, there's been support for that. They haven't quite got over the hump. When it comes to education, legislation to implement private school voucher programs won't return. But there may be a renewed push to require seat belts on school buses after six elementary school students were killed when a school bus crashed in Chattanooga in 2016. There was a bill that went pretty far away, I think, in both houses last year, but I think that's going to be brought back to try to continue to push that bill on and see if they can get it through. While it remains to be seen which issues get the most attention, answers will come Tuesday. And it all gets started tomorrow at noon. It could be a shorter session than in the past. That's because state law says lawmakers running for office can't raise money for their campaigns while the session is underway. So a lot of people here may want to wrap up their work quickly so they can get back out on the campaign trail. Reporting live at Legislative Plaza, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.